this is you, a beginner's dart player. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the three most important things to avoid as a beginner, which ultimately stops you from becoming better. So make sure you stay around for the list and let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the types of darts that you're using. It's easy to get caught up in the variety available, but picking the right dart for your playing style is crucial. Avoid blindly following trends and focus on finding the weight, grip and balance that suit you best. Experimentation is key with finding the right dart for you. Personally, I prefer heavier darts with thinner barrels, as this allows me to have more control with better stacking. However, some people will like to have lighter darts that fly a bit easier, so they can focus less on power and more on accuracy. But as I say, make sure to experiment and find what is more comfortable for you. But also remember that expensive doesn't always mean better, especially now with buying professional players branded darts, even if you buy Van Gerwen brand darts, for example, it doesn't mean you'll suddenly start losing your hair and become a better player, and you might find cheaper and better options if you keep looking. The next thing to avoid as a beginner is neglecting the dartboard and equipment. Make sure your board is properly mounted and at the correct height as well. You can also invest in quality accessories like a sturdy surround and proper lighting for optimal playing conditions. But again, this is not going to make or break your game. You shouldn't put all your focus into the board and equipment, as even an amateur with the highest quality board and lighting will not perform as well as someone who has been playing and practicing for a while with a cheaper board and worse lighting. So basically, don't blame your board if you're not playing well, because you'd be playing the exact same way even on a better board. The final thing to avoid as a beginner is one of the most common pitfalls, which is fixating solely on hitting those impressive 180s. While it's exciting, don't let it distract you from the crucial aspect of the game, which is hitting the doubles to finish. Work on your accuracy and consistency, focusing on the full range of numbers on the board. It's the key to winning every match. Even if you had the best scoring out of any professional in the world, if you haven't been practicing hitting doubles too, then you won't be able to finish the game, so make sure to practice the actual rules of the game as well. And there you have it, three things to stay clear of on your darting journey. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable insights. I'll see you in the next video.